In this video, we will talk about another security issue called temporary files in secure data storage. In this issue, you will see that developers sometimes store sensitive information inside temporary files. As you can see here, we have an application that requires us to enter username and password. I will try for example to enter new user for the username and new user password for the password field. After pressing save, you will get the message that says third party credentials saved successfully. Now let's see what is happening behind the scenes by viewing the activity source code. You will see here that there is a function called save credentials that is responsible for saving the username and the password we provide. And inside this function, you will find that the developer is creating a temp file called uinfo to save the credentials inside it. You will find here also the message that show after we press the save button. Now let's check that temporary file from the Genie Motion shell. Open the Santoku terminal and type adb shell. Now we are inside the Android device shell. Let's go to the data data folder, then go to the diva package folder, jacar.asim.diva. List all the files and directories using the ls command. As you can see here, there is a temporary file called uinfo. It is the same file that has been created by the developer from the source code. Now if you try to view the content of the file using the cat command, you will find that it contains our credentials. Username is new user and the password is new user password. If you are an Android developer, please be careful when storing data inside temporary files. So this was all about insecure data storage inside temporary files.